Hello, it's Sarah, and today I'm going to share what I ended up doing with my sugar skulls. I've made several necklaces that I'm going to be putting um, in my Etsy store, um, and then I have some keychains too. I'll do a separate video for those. Um, I have some light switch covers. Anyway, I just wanted to share these, give people a really good look at what I have, and I'm going to put um, links to on my YouTube channel, I'll have links to my shop, and on my at my shop, I'll have links to YouTube, so that if you if you're interested in these, you can have a really good look. I mean, you have there's pictures on Etsy, but I just thought it would be nice to really see um, a more you know a better a better um, picture of them, a live picture of them. So I'm gonna put these aside, and I'll do them one by one. This is the first batch I did of sugar skulls when I did the um, the double pour. So these have purple glitter in the back and white. And I think I just use straight white. Um, I use the Cast and Craft white. I don't think there's any glitter in the white. Um, and I painted them. They're all hand painted. Um, and the bead dangles uh, are just beads that I've had in my stash. I wanted to do a, a quick measurement too. Um, I tried to make each of the necklaces hang 20 inches. So from the clasp to the, I'll just pull back, to where the, the chain attaches to the charm, it's 10 inches. So that's a 20 inch drop. And then you have another, um, let's see, I'm at my computer desk today because my desk is a mess. And then the actual um, charm is about four inches. There's a four inch dangle. Um, I have one on, but I don't know how I'm gonna show that. Anyway, what I did was, um, um, I used to do beading uh, for a while before I found uh, my paper crafts and all that stuff. And what I've done is I've taken the 19 strand wire and used crimp beads to make these sections. So I've strung these beads together on a wire and then crimped the ends and attached them um, to, I have the um, eye screws that go into the charm, but then I also put, um, what are they called? They're called, uh, see, they're not called jump rings. They're called, um, oh, I'll figure it out. But you know, the key ring style. So it's, it's gonna be a bit more sturdy than just a jump ring there. So, but what you have is mostly, I use Swarovski crystals, but I don't always use Swarovski crystals. Some of them, I mean, I get them from, when I buy the ones they have at AC Moore and I cut those bracelets apart. So I have a lot of different findings here from all over. Um, and nothing is gold or silver. Um, and I don't know if it's gonna tarnish or not. I love this chain. This is chain that I got from Michaels. And this chain is not um, complete. So what, I'm, what I mean is, it can be broken apart. Like if you if you wanted to undo this, you could. You just simply, just like a, a, a jump ring, you would open that. But um, I've attached a lobster claw clasp to these, and I've also used another one of those. I want. I'm going to call it jump ring. It's a. I can't think of what it's called. Um, the split ring. It's called a split ring. Um, to the end for you to clasp it to. So these are just in the findings um, department at Michaels. They're nothing special. Um, but I did love this chain. This chain is very sturdy, um, and it is uh, a nice, like a brushed gold color. So this is going to take it. So that's the first one. This is kind of, um, I think I'm going to describe them by the color of the skull at the bottom. So this would be like the pink skull because I have a pink. Then this is going to be a red skull. I have a red skull down here, and I kind of did them a bit differently. This one actually had wings on the bottom of them, but um, this one just, you know, doesn't. It just it starts with the with the skull, and then I did, this is like one of my very first ones. I did a big flower on top, and again, it's with the purple glitter. And then this one, I have, um, these are called furnace glass, these beads, these yellow ones. And they're David Christensen furnace glass, and I was like addicted to them when I first started beading. And I threw a couple of them on. Actually, I have that on this one too. These are furnace glass. They're just super pretty. They're so shiny and everything. So I think you're gonna get, you're gonna be pretty happy with the quality of um, the beads. Um, like I said, even if they're not Swarovski crystals, they're still good quality, very sparkly. I like this one because it has the um, flowers, the flower spacer charms. And again, 
um, just used crimp beads and did these sections and then connected them to the chain. So that's the second one with the flower and the red um, skull. And then this one has a purple skull. It's a cross. It has an orange cross, a purple skull, a heart dangle at the bottom. And again, it's the purple glitter on the back. And then this just has a variety of beads as well. Some of these are, I mean, I honestly, I don't know where I've gotten them all because I've collected beads and gotten beads forever, like for a long time. And um, I got away from beading, so, you know, it's been a while. And so they're just some beads that I had in my stash um, that I thought played well with the colors um, on the sugar skull itself. So, um, that's the purple uh, uh, skull charm. And then this one is all red. So this is actually another batch of resin that I poured. I think I just had some red glitter resin. Um, and I don't know. I, I This is the only one of these. I don't know how he. Uh, <laughs> I ended up with him. But this is all gold and red. So I just did gold beads, gold spacer beads, um, and a nice red like, it's not a Swarovski crystal, I don't think. I think it's one of those ones from um, the the bracelets that you get at AC Moore. So, and he has a red skull at the bottom and a heart. And so this one will have a bit more chain because I didn't do as long of a, a bead section on this one. But it just, it just seemed to go nicely. So that's the red and gold one. Then this is my second batch of skulls. And I did these... Um, all white and these were the ones that I used when I um, did my tutorial on painting them um, which since then I've discovered that my Copics do not uh, they bleed so when I put I've actually started spraying Krylon on everything before I put any triple thick or anything else on there because things are bleeding like the um, the black lines are starting to um, they've bled on me when I've tried to um, uh, seal these so anyway this is I'm I really love this one this is gold but I just love the way the beads turned out and with the colors of this charm um, there is a little mistake one here I did have to double drill it so I'll put that a note like of that in um, the shop but I mean you can't really notice I just I drilled the first one broke what happens is these um, gold eye screws are soft and I when I've tried to hand screw them um, it it will break it's just it they're they're not as strong as the silver ones so anyway um, this one does have uh, the eye screw is a bit further behind but I still like it I mean you don't have to buy it if you don't want it but I really love these um these beads are just so pretty I was in love with these beads for a long time and I think these are like a China bead they're some type of bead from China and just more crystals and um, uh, furnace glass so really pretty I just think it really played well and this is like a deep purple um, charm and these actually have mirrors in the back too so these have a mirror I don't know I was just um, watching crafters delights one time and she was putting mirrors on the back of hers and I thought that was kind of a cool idea I mean I don't know you could check your lipstick or something um, so that's the purple then I have two silver ones and this one is, and I actually I like this silver chain. I wasn't sure if I was going to because it was just so different from the gold. Um, but I do, I did end up liking it. And I really want to find some more of these flower beads. These are bead spacers. I don't know where I got them. And these were the last of my stash. And I really love, love, love them. They turned out so cool. Um, so this one, this dangle has wings because I have lots of um, silver wings. I didn't have very many gold wings. So, and I put a cross on the bottom of him because I had lots of these crosses that I love. So this is really pretty. Um, one of the, this is the actual uh, design that I did for my tutorial when I taught the painting of it. So I did go around it with the Copics and it, it smudged a little bit, but it's not like, you know, that bad. Um, has a mirror in the back. And I just love the beads on this too. Turned out super cute. I just really love those, like I said, the little flowers. They're Swarovski beads. I mean Swarovski crystals. And then these are um, more of the texture of the skulls. It's kind of like a, a stone type of a bead that I got. And so I threw them in there. 
um, and again the furnace glass so just really cute now this is the chain it's more of a curb link but it's really solid and I'm, I'm pretty sure it's the same thing like the links will open like if you wanted to shorten it or lengthen it you probably could add chain into it put an put a um extension on the back but they all have the lobster claw um closure with the again the split ring i just used as the um as the clasp attachment so i really like this one this is super pretty i'm tempted to keep it and then this is the other silver one that i did so far um and this is with the mirror in the back and i this is an all white pour but um I did, like I said, with my Copics, I colored it, and I, I, like I said, I'm not going to be doing that again because it's kind of, it smudges and it didn't take very well, so, but I did the um, skull the same way with the wings again and a cross, and there's a cross on the skull as well, and it has a mirror in the back, and the beads, I also have these uh, silver, and like I said, it's not sterling silver, they're just silver, but I've had pretty good luck with them. They don't tend to tarnish this this brand, and I'm, I'm it's probably bead landing. I'm gonna have to really focus on where I'm getting things um, so that I can keep the quality up of the pieces. But um, I just love this bead arrangement as well. They're um, <clears throat> like just really pretty, pretty <laughs> floral, and um, these green beads are super pretty. I also did that um, on my favorite that I'm wearing. And actually, I would like to show it, but I don't know if I'm going to be able to. I'm not going to be able to see what I'm showing. So oh, that's my computer. But I mean, I don't. I, it looks like it's aiming straight at my chest. I don't know. It could be a little high or low. But this is um, you know, a gold one, and that's about where it hangs down. It's a 20-inch length here, and then there's that other four inches for the dangle. So, all right, you guys. Well, that is what I have so far. I'm going to come back. I'm going to do a few keychains. I have um, uh, light switch covers that I'll do a little share. I have done a couple other designs. And these are the videos that I'm going to link to my Etsy store so that um, when people are at Etsy, I mean, there's pictures on there of them, like still pictures. But then they can come and see the actual... Um, the life like the you know to really see a better view um, of size and everything so I hope that was helpful I hope you enjoyed and thanks for watching